This demonstration is going to give you an overview of the hourly performance review process in Workday. Some of our locations are including an employee self-review as part of the performance review process, while other locations have chosen not to include the employee self-review step. If there is no employee self-review step for your location, the employee's review begins in the manager inbox. If there is an employee self-review step, the review will begin in the employee inbox. For this demonstration, I will be showing a review that includes the employee self-review. If you work at a location that does not include the employee self-review, feel free to skip ahead in this video to the employee acknowledgement section. To begin your performance review, click on your Workday inbox in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Open the complete self-evaluation inbox item and click the Get Started button to begin. The first section of this review is designed for you to evaluate yourself on a series of seven behaviors, sometimes referred to as competencies, in Workday. Each behavior is defined in the description column for reference. Before you begin rating, click on the opposite facing arrows in the upper right corner of the screen to expand the page. With the page expanded, you can more easily see what needs to be completed. Now you can begin rating yourself on these behaviors. Click the three lines in the rating bar to open the options menu and select the appropriate rating for this behavior. Once you select a rating, you will see the definition of that rating appear just below it. There is also a comment box to provide any commentary on your rating selection for this particular behavior. Continue down the page, making rating selections for all of the behaviors. Once you have rated each behavior, click the two arrows facing one another in the top right corner of the screen to minimize this page back to its original view. Now you can see how your individual ratings on each behavior have determined your overall rating. From here, you are ready to move on to the next section by clicking the Next button. The next section of the review is a comments box that should be used for any overall comments that you would like to capture. Additionally, if there are goals or development opportunities that you and your manager have identified, they can be documented here to include in your overall performance discussion. Once you have completed this section, click the Next button. This final section of the review is an overall summary. Here you can take one final look over the entire review before clicking Submit. If you decide that you would like to make a change at this point, click on the title of the section in the blue bar that you would like to edit, and Workday will navigate you to that page. If no changes are needed, you are ready to click Submit. Clicking Submit takes you to this confirmation page where you can see what is next in the process. After an employee completes their self-review, the review goes to their manager for the manager evaluation. Next, it goes to the manager's manager for review and approval. After approval, the review goes back to the manager to schedule your performance review discussion. Finally, after you and your manager have met to discuss your performance review, the review comes back to you as the employee to sign off on the review. In Workday, the sign off step is called employee acknowledgement. To begin, click on your Workday inbox in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Open the Provide Employee Review Comments inbox item and click the Get Started button to begin. You start on the Summary page, click Next to get to the Acknowledgement page. Now click the three lines in the status bar to open the Options menu and select Acknowledge. This acts as your final signature. You can provide any final comments in the comment box. Otherwise, click Submit. As you can see from this confirmation page, your review goes back to the manager. The final step in the process is for your manager to provide their acknowledgement. At this point, you are finished with the review process. If there comes a time when you would like to download or print a copy of your performance review, you can do so from your employee profile. To navigate to your employee profile, 
Click on your picture or the cloud icon if you have not uploaded a picture in the upper right corner of the screen. From your employee profile, click on performance in the blue bar on the left. Select the performance review tab along the top of the screen and click the create new PDF button next to the review you would like a copy of. This will create a PDF of your review that you can download or print for your records. And this concludes the demonstration on how to navigate the hourly performance review process in Workday.